tell parents who just found out that their children are um, diabetic, uh, with a type 1 diabetic, that there, there are a lot of resources, the, the outreach, in, especially in San Diego, JDRF is fantastic. Um, anything you need to know, any help. Um, but you do need to go, first thing is, don't go to your pediatric, um, just a pediatric doctor. Go to a pediatric endocrinologist, somebody that knows exactly what you need to do for your child. Carb counting is a huge at our house. We never did carb counting. That's something that new moms and new dads should be aware of. You know, pizza, a lot of carbs, french fries, all that stuff that kids love. But, you know, it's, it's not, it doesn't really go through their body as they used to. Now that they have diabetes, it goes, it keeps setting off their sugar. So, so moms and dads of type 1 diabetics, um, it's, it gets easier. You just have to learn how to deal with everything. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, and um, like it's manageable. It's totally manageable, and um, and you you can you can always just be on top of it. You have to monitor. The most important thing is monitoring it, and um, never ignore any signs, anything, a headache, any little sign is dizziness. You know, any you can't ignore anything. But no, it's not the end of the world. You can do sports. You can you can play. You can she can go to sleepovers, have hot dogs, pizza. And that's another myth. People always say, "Oh, Rowan, you can't have, you can't have this. You can't." She can. She can have everything because she doesn't. She's not type two diabetic. It's type one, so it's it's different.